Hey guys, so I was doing some research about how to get the LED light on the S7 to turn off uh, at night because I enjoy it during the day, but during the night it's very, very bright. And I started reading around and it appears that some people have gone as far as to put black tape over the LED notification because <laughs> it's bright. Um, and at the moment there's no way to have the LED notification be controlled by the do not disturb mode. Uh, which is unfortunate because you know that is definitely a disturbing feature if you're not wanting your phone to light up when you're getting notifications at night while it's charging face up on a wireless charger. So I did some research and I found a few. I, I'm going to talk a bit about what I've tried and what didn't work, uh, and then I'll I'll show you what I've decided to do that does work. It doesn't involve root. It just involves an application. So. Uh, I tried a few things. I tried uh, to use some of the LED software that's out there. There are one. There's one. There's like LED blinker, uh, light flow. Uh, none of those work very well. Uh, the 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 one that worked the best was LED blinker, but the problem was that it was it was working great. Uh, but the problem is that if you had it set up uh, and running, then when notifications would come down on your notification bar, and you tried to clear and you clicked. Like say you get a text message and you and the uh, notification bar has the text there. When you click on the or you tap on the notification to open up, in my case, Textra for texts, you read the text, you close it. The notification was still there. The notifications wouldn't auto clear from the notification panel. You had to clear them manually. Really weird. I wrote the developer about it. They said it's just a weird thing. And apparently, Samsungs have workarounds in almost all, all LED applications to deal with something that Samsung's doing. Don't know what it is. The, so those two apps did not work. Uh, I also tried Tasker. I read that people were using Tasker to create some parameters for um, turning off the LED during wireless charging or regular charging or during hours. I tried that and it acted funny for me. Um, even after getting rid of the uh, odd permanent notification that uh, Tasker puts in your notification tray. Uh, which was kind of weird, but made that go away, and then just it didn't have good luck with how it was working. So here's what I ended up using was uh, a piece of software from the Play Store called MacroDroid. It's completely free. I think there's a paid version if you want to add more than a few different macros to your device. But I'm going to show you guys my setup for disabling LED at night. Um, there's a couple different ways you can set it up. Uh, I have decided that I don't want the LED to display when it's after hours and it's charging. Those, that's basically it. If it's nighttime and I'm charging my phone because I charge it all night every night, I don't want the LEDs to display. If I'm charging the phone during the day, I want the LEDs to display. And if I have my phone unplugged at night, I'm probably using it. Uh, so that's kind of the scenario I wanted to create, and MacroDroid let me do that. So I'm just going to run through the setup real quick, uh, show you how it works. So you can choose to uh, add macros, there's other settings and things, but uh, what I want to do is pretty basic, and I'll show you how I did this, and show you how I uh, created a scenario for myself to test it during the daytime to make sure it worked. So uh, let's see here. First thing I'm going to go do is go into settings. hide the icon. Uh, it gives you a warning saying it can cause problems, but I've been using this for maybe two weeks uh, and I've had no problems at all. So I'm going to hide that, which will take it away from the notification bar. I'm going to add a macro. Basically it's a series of triggers and scenarios and if-thens and stuff. Uh, if you've done anything like this, if you've used ta Tasker, is way more complex than this. But this works really well for me. So, the first trigger I want to um, find is charging, let's see, power, power connected or removed. When the power is connected, I want to do something. So I pick that. Here's a list of options. If we scroll down here. Uh, let's see, notification LED, enable and disable. Select this. So if the power is connected, I want to disable the LED. Okay. Uh, and that's it. And then I click the checkbox. Here's the constraints. This is where you get into the time of day. So basically, I only want to disable the LED 
at night. So I'm going to put scroll down to time of day. Um, so this works in 24 hour hour increments. So like uh, I want to disable well, the way I had it set up was I disabled my LED after um, 9:30 at night or 8:30. I can't remember. Let's try. So 20 hours is 20 is 8. So at 8:30, which is you know like sunset ish. At 20.30, and the end time, like 7 in the morning or something. After 7, it's light outside. LED's okay, right? So, okay. And that's it. And then you click the check. Um, want to name the LED, want to name the macro, let's call it LED. Turn off. Okay. And then here's an advertisement. Everyone go get Dragon Soul. Don't get Dragon Soul. Okay, I've created a macro, and this is what it looks like. The LED will turn off if I've connected the power, and it's between, you know, 8.30, maybe that's 9.30, whatever, math, uh, and 7 in the morning. That will work. The problem is that you have to get the LED to turn back on, okay? So here's, I'm going to add one more macro here. Uh, let's use the wizard, that's fine. When the, uh, let's see, what was it? Power connected? So when the power is disconnected, I want to enable the LED notifications again. And that's it. And then I don't really need any constraints. It doesn't really matter what time of day I take the power out. When I take the power out, I want the LED to turn back on. So I'm just going to leave constraints blank. And we're going to call this LED turn on. All right, two macros. So the first one, if I plug in the power at night while it's dark outside, it will disable the notification for the LED notification. When I take the power uh, out at any time of day, I want the LED to turn back on. And that's it. That's the setup. And it just runs. I can't. You can't see my LED uh, right now, but if what I would uh, encourage you to do to test this is to go into the LED turn off uh, macro that we've created and change the constraints to a, to this current time of day. So right now I have it set that you know this is only going to function at night. Well, change the time or take the time away entirely, and then plug in your power jack. Uh, and it, well, here's what I did. I actually sent myself a, ta uh, a text message really quickly. Uh, send it, send it, and then turn the phone off. And immediately your phone's going to ring, and you have a notification hanging out up in the notifications area. And then while it's hanging out there, don't just don't don't wipe it, don't swipe it away. Just plug your power in, turn your screen off, and see if it blinks. It should not blink. And then unplug the power and then see if the LED starts blinking again. Uh, you're probably doing this during the day if you're not. I mean, you can, basically you can take this time away if you want to uh, test it for the sake of testing. And just, just run some tests. Plug your power in, take it out, see if it works. But it works great for me. So I'm hoping that Samsung is going to add the ability to disable LED notifications with Do Not Disturb since that's kind of what that means. Um, I've seen other people try um, other settings with Tasker and other apps where you're like do not disturb do not disturb mode is not a trigger in here uh, there are there is like a trigger for silent mode but we I don't believe silent mode is the same as do not disturb because it wasn't working well for me uh, so so do not disturb is its own thing and until you know Samsung lets you disable LED notification with do not disturb. You're going to have to use some sort of third party. This is a free app. It's worked the best for me of all the things I've tried, and I certainly hope this helps. Uh, I hope I didn't miss anything. Let me know if this works for you guys. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to post back. But I, I don't really, you know, normally do tutorials, but this is something I fought with for a while, and uh, this ended up working. So I hope that helps. And um, I'm enjoying my S7 a lot. Hope you guys are too. Take care.